also creatures of the same maker. Allahu Akbar. They are creatures of the same maker. Who made you? Allah. Who are you going to go back to? Allah. Who made them? Allah. Who are they going to go back to? Allah. You are one family. The family of mankind. The difficulty with us, we only think it's, we are the ones who are entitled. We are the ones I have. I'm worried about myself, my pocket, my goodness, my happiness to the degree that I'm not even bothered about those who are in my family. We cannot resolve matters and problems because there is pride that has overtaken us. So it all depends on who you are. If you are a leader in community, an imam in the masjid, for example, wallahi, you need to lead by example. Yes, you are a human. You are not a Nabi. You are not a prophet. So you need to know people look up to you. Try your best to lead a life of an example to others. Exemplary. That which when people see, they will definitely say, this is a religious man. This is a teacher. This is a preacher, for example. And his life is led exactly as he speaks. That is when you will succeed. But if you are teaching others goodness, if you are trying to help people in their faith, and yourself, you are not bothered about what you are teaching. That hypocrisy will catch up with you at some stage. May Allah forgive us. If human nature makes you fall, seek the forgiveness of Allah and seek the forgiveness of those whom you have hurt. I repeat, if human nature makes you fall, seek the forgiveness of Allah and seek the forgiveness of those whom you have hurt or you have wronged. For indeed, in that way, you will be able to achieve. But don't let it become a habit. You know, when I speak to married couples who are suffering a bit of turbulence and the wife is complaining that this man, he oppresses me, he hurts me, he is very abusive and he commits this sin and that sin and he is, you know, womanizing and whatever else. I normally ask a question. Is it a habit or is it a one off sin? Remember, that's a very important question. Is it nature or is it a one of sin? If the man or the woman has fallen as a one of sin, perhaps human nature made them fall. But if it's a habit, then they haven't understood their role in the family. Perhaps it will become more difficult. So there is a different way of resolving a matter when it was a one of sin. And there is a different way of resolving the matter when it becomes a habit. A habit. A person is in a habit of committing a sin. That is their life. It becomes their nature. In that case, we might deal with it a little bit more aggressively. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and help us. I mean, we as human beings need to develop ourselves. Eradicate your bad habits. Are you ready? Are you ready to tell yourself today, here and now, what your bad habits are and the fact that you are going to get rid of them? Are you ready? You know your bad habits. Are you ready to tell yourself, this is my habit, I'm lazy. When I speak, I don't think, I hurt people, I hurt people, even though I think I don't hurt them. Maybe I should say that to the men. I hurt people without thinking. I've heard a lot of men speak very rough, very rough, thinking that they are entitled. But the sad part is, I've heard a growing number of women do the same. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Let's not do that. If you want to build a beautiful community, watch your tongue.